गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन क्लास टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू द लास्ट चैप्टर फ्यू टॉपिक्स टू अंडरस्टैंड फ्यू टॉपिक्स टू डू सो टॉपिक इज साइबर एथिक्स बेसिकली दिस चैप्टर इज बेस्ड ऑन हाउ हाउ टू यूज इंटरनेट एंड वट आर द प्रिकॉशंस टू टू यूज द इंटरनेट so class uh, let's start protecting yourself on internet in this it says while doing the various activity we should completely know about that like uh, if we are using a net if you are selling something if you are buying something we should know the proper way of doing it using of debit card credit card net banking anything that we are doing on the over the net we should know the proper working of it next uh, never share your personal detail never have face to face conversation to the unknown people basically avoid being part of discussion online express yourself clearly check the reliability of the information whatever you are posting it should be correct you cannot post a fake news on the net otherwise it is a cyber crime next is check the authenticity of an email whether the email which you receive are proper or not it may not it may contain viruses also so we have to think about it next is your net equity net equity means the rules and regulation how to work on internet what should be your behavior behavior and what are the things that should please everyone there should be a proper you can say behavior of you people or ways of you people to use the internet so there are some points keep your personal detail private be tolerant and careful do not reply on unnecessary messages so you have to be tolerant avoid be respectful to others this is the rule you cannot abuse anyone over the net otherwise it's a crime anybody can claim on it don't try to steal information that's a hacking so that is again a crime even on internet we all we are all human so we have to keep this in mind that particular who is reading your messages are human so harsh and rude behavior should not be there don't indulge in spamming spamming means unnecessary mails you should not forward or you if you are receiving anything just to delete it now use of internet acronym that we have done in first chapter also like uh, as ap as soon as possible like fye for your information see you later all this class are the acronyms that is a shortcuts that we use using a internet some emoticons that also we have done in first chapter now talking about the software license and open source software license if we are purchasing any software they will give us the legal right to use that by giving the password by giving the keys so that for the distribution of software it should be proper this we call a piracy piracy it's also a crime if you are giving your software to any other person and uh, they are forwarding it without the without knowing the <coughs> uh, means the company do not know about it and you are forwarding it it's a piracy and that is not legal 
एंड ओपन सोर्स सॉफ्टवेयर आर दी सॉफ्टवेयर विच वी आर फ्री टू डिस्ट्रीब्यूट एंड विच आर इजीली अवेलेबल ऑन इंटरनेट सो क्लास फ्री सॉफ्टवेयर डू नॉट ऑलवेज रिक्वायर टू साइन एन एग्रीमेंट सो लाइक पाइथन इज अ ओपन सोर्स सॉफ्टवेयर सो क्लास दिस यू हैव टू रीड and this is difference between open source and software licenses now class intelligent property right if you are creating any software creation of your own software this we call a intelligence property right any other person those who are copying your um your creation that we call a copyright so that person should have a right to copy your software or copy your ideas so for that copyright license should be there again i'm repeating this intelligent property right are the right given to the person over the creation of their mind intelligent property right rewards creativity and human endeavor which fuels the progress of the human human kind means you have created something then intelligence property right will give you a right to work on it and if you are if you are distributing that that we call a copyright you are giving a right to another person that they can use your software so one thing is the copyright another thing is the patent like anyone who discovers something or invent something they have to patent it patent means apne naam pe unhe register karana padta hai ab dusra person those who will take this software they will have to purchase or they will have to give money for it then only another person have a right to use that trademark like you know many companies have their own trademark so trademark also is type of a company symbol that is given to a particular company and uh, and uh, that can be extended this is generally give for 10 years 10 year like maggi like uh, toothpaste colgate these are the trademarks given to the particular item and they have patent for 10 years later on <coughs> you have to renew it so all these are there now plagiarism it is something you can say particular person who is practicing of using someone else work means stealing the work of another that's a crime so that comes under this plagiarism so class uh, this is one thing now direct plagiarism paraphrase morrisig these are not important you just learn the name of it now digital right digital right are the process of relationship between copyrighted digital work user permission and right related to computer network and electronic devices simply if one company is there and another company over a net they are helping each other or you can say they are sharing the information they are working together then these are called the digital right if you are having a company and you are allowing another company to use your company's product or you can say softwares that's a digital right like you know apps there are different apps for different banks these apps people have a right digital right to access over these banks like we are transferring money like google pay you can say they have a digital right 
of all the banks to transfer money from one bank to another bank so these are the things next freedom of information this is a very important topic freedom of information is used to access information of the citizen rights that are held by the state in some countries this freedom is supported as a constitutional right means everything which is means uh, for people government give a transparency so that uh, everyone should know about their rights so in our country also everything is available as a information that we can take from the government about our rights so now digital divide it refers to the gap between individual household business and graphical areas at different socio economic level with regards to both or to their opportunity to access information communication and technologies simply digital divide is like we people nowadays are using everything which is available on the internet various apps various facilities surfing on net so you can say this is the we are having a very less gap we are we can easily access but in some places some areas where it is not available for the people to have a digital information so in that case they are suffering from digital divide next is e-commerce security issues like customer security e-commerce first of all e-commerce uh, we have studied in first chapter e-commerce business done on the internet that is through the electronic media full form is electronic commerce so whatever the purchase sale has been done whatever the banking all this are under this only you are doing e-reservation you are doing e-banking you are doing online purchases all comes under this e-commerce only so customer security privacy if you are feeding an information on google meet any another person cannot see that information integrity here it is written message must not be alter or tamper with means whatever the messages are given through the different sources of e-commerce it cannot be altered you cannot change those messages means another person want to change the message and want to fool you that cannot be done authentication who is sending or who is receiving they both have the identities on internet so class these are the things that you have to study digital signature and certificate nowadays you can do digitally signature also and uh, you can sign an agreement certificates nowadays various institutes are there which are giving online education and they are giving certificates also so class uh, these are some important topic till here only you have to study nothing more that's all class